hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I'm on the back It's not your fault But you don't realize On my own But I don't know why Hi, welcome back to my channel According to Cat. If you are new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. And today we're doing something a little different. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut. I am so excited to show you all the stuff they sent me and make some really cool things. So let's get right into it. Okay, before I get started, I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video. Today we're going to make three DIYs using the Cricut Joy. First, we're gonna turn this simple glass container into a cookie jar using Smart Vinyl. Then we're gonna take infusible ink transfer sheets to decorate blank ceramic coasters. And finally, we'll be making greeting cards using the very cool card mat. Cricut sent me so many awesome products. The first thing they sent me was this Cricut Joy. They also sent me the Easy Press 2 and a whole bunch of awesome supplies. I cannot wait to use my Cricut Joy to be able to organize my pantry. I wanna make a bunch of new labels. I also love that I can create custom cards, but I think most of all, I am excited to be able to personalize all of my DIYs. The Cricut Joy was so easy to set up. All I needed to do was take it out of the box. I simply plugged it in and I went to cricutsetup.com. This is where it instructed me how to connect it to Bluetooth. And because Bluetooth is built right in, it's so easy to connect to your computer, phone, tablet, whatever, wirelessly. And then I went into a Cricut Design Space and began designing. I already have so many saved projects. I just found the Cricut Joy to be so quick and easy to use, which will make me use it more because I can make so many DIYs within minutes. I do have a Cricut Maker and I do love it. However, the Cricut Joy's design just makes it so easy to set up. It's completely mobile and I can cut without a mat, which is great because I can use this Cricut Smart Materials and I don't have to lug around more supplies. The Cricut Joy can go from cutting to drawing to making cards. All you need to do is change out the cutting tool to a pen or an infusible marker to make so many different projects. I just love how compact the Cricut Joy is. Well, one, because it is ridiculously cute, but it also allows me to set it up and make my projects anywhere. I can take it directly to my kitchen to make labels or up to my bedroom to make a card. It is so light and portable that I can even take it to school to organize my classroom. Now that I told you why I love the Cricut Joy, let's show you what it can do. Enough of me talking, let's get into this. If you'd like to know what products I've used, please check out the description box below and we'll get right into it. Okay, DIY number one, cookie jar label. So the first thing I did was I went into Cricut Design Space and I went into the already made projects. I wanted to see what types of labels they had, but I was looking for something a little different. So I went into images and I typed in cookie labels, I think, yeah cookie labels and I was looking through and then I found two I liked I liked this one right here and I just click on that 
and I'm gonna see if there's any others I like, and this one. So what I will do is insert images, and they'll both come up, and then I was deciding between the two which one I liked, but I went with the second one, the one at the bottom. So I'm going to delete the first one, and I'm going to size it to my glass jar. I knew I would make it about four to five inches, and then I went in to make it. Now I am going to get my Smart Vinyl ready. I love this Smart Vinyl because it does not need a cutting mat. So I can take this anywhere and I'm not lugging different types of cutting mats with me and it just makes it so quick and easy. So basically you just cut the Smart Vinyl and you put it into load, that's it. And I click without a mat, done and then it will prompt me to set my material. So I go over to Smart Vinyl Permanent and it will tell me to load it in. And then I just start it. Now, the thing that I love about it is that it can be up to 20 feet long. So you can make really long like farmhouse signs or whatever and you don't need to do a lot of um, cutting and moving and all that. So now I'm getting my glass ready while this is cutting and I'm just using some alcohol to get any dirt and grime off so that the vinyl can stick better. All right, so you can see right here how it cut. Now I'm not going to show you too much of me weeding it because it's white on white and it's really hard to see, but I just take my weeding tool and go right in the corner and I pull back the vinyl. And now I am left with my image, so I will take my transfer tape and cut it to size. And I will peel back the film and carefully lay it right on that vinyl piece. I kind of put it right in the center and then smooth it out with my hand. And then I'll go back with the scraper and really make sure it's adhered. And you can see that I'm doing that right here. Now, some of these letters were so small and tiny that I had to take my weeder and just kind of help it stay down while I pulled back the backing. But you can see it looks so cute and I am ready to put it on my jar. So I was trying so carefully to put this on and all of a sudden it just went, it like clung right to it. And well, it was where it was. And it was pretty straight. I mean, I could have maybe pulled it down a little bit on the left, but it literally just suctioned to it. So now I'm taking my scraper and just making sure it is down good so that when I pull the transfer tape off, there are no pieces coming off. And this was super easy. This came off no problem. None of those letters were stuck to the transfer tape, so that worked out perfectly. And this is pretty much done. I hope you like this as much as I do. Now let's take a look. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking. We're like one and without you I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. Oh, I got you. There's no reason. Okay, moving on to DIY number two, ceramic coasters. So the first thing I did was I went into Cricut Design Space once again and went into images and typed up coasters. You can go into projects and see which ones they already have made, but I wanted to create four of my own. So I was just kind of looking through and seeing what type of designs I wanted. And then I realized I would like something more geometric and I also really liked the script ones that have the words on it and they had um, ones with different types of um, 
mixed drinks and one with wines. So I picked those two types. That one on the right I actually don't end up using, but I knew I wanted the script and the geometric together. So after I picked out the four I wanted, I got my infusible ink transfer sheets. Now, all right, these things are amazing because I've never used them before. And when I took them out, first of all, they're in a black bag. Like as you see there, it says the sheets will be damaged by liquid and to store in a dark, dry place. So I take them out and at first I was like, oh, okay, well, they're very dull. That's what I thought. I thought the image was very dull. And, but I figured I'm just gonna keep going through with this. And inside of that little black bag, you get some pieces of butcher paper and that little lint free cloth to wipe whatever you're putting it on. So I went into the Cricut heat guide cause I wanted to see how to make my coasters and I picked the Cricut Easy Press 2. And then I went down to the material and I chose the infusible ink transfer sheets. And last but not least, the material was the ceramic coasters. Then it tells you what temperature and how many seconds you're supposed to leave it on. It tells me no pressure and it's a cool peel. So peel it when it's cool. It gave me pictures. It gave me supplies. It told me the order everything goes in. This heat guide was so useful. So I definitely recommend using that. Make sure we will discuss this in a minute that your coasters are cool when you peel them. Not only because it tells you to do that, but because yeah, you'll burn yourself. Okay, so I'm setting the temperature to 400 degrees and 240 seconds, and that's per coaster. Now I have these Cricut ceramic coasters and they're compatible with the infusible ink and they're just plain. Be very careful when you open them because it shows you to use like a, a, a scissor on the back, but the coaster is literally right there face up so that if you use a knife or something, it will cut it. So be very careful. So I am taking this first piece of infusible ink transfer sheet and I am putting the two words in the light gray. So I know those will be printing in one color and the geometrics will be printing in the other infusible ink transfer sheet pattern, I should say. So I am ready to make it and I need to put on my mirror effect because when you're doing iron on or the transfer sheets like that, you need to mirror your image. So then I'm going into materials and I am telling Cricut that I am going to be using my infusible ink transfer sheets and I will hit done. And then it will tell me to load my mat. And that's it. I load and it's going to start making it. This was so easy. So I just wanna take a moment and say, if you are liking this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. And I hope that you would subscribe because I upload every week and I would love for you to stick around. Okay, so now I got my piece out of the two coasters that were cut. And now I am putting on my other uh, transfer sheet pattern and, and loading that in. Now I, I couldn't get it for some reason to ask me how much material I had. So it told me it was going to do the second two coasters in two more rounds, which is fine. I just put one in and I turned it around and put the other one in, but I just, I couldn't figure out why that was doing that, but I have to work with it a little more. So then I just peel it off and I'm peeling off whatever needs to come, like the backing, the sides, everything. And then I just went in and took out all those little pieces right with my fingers because of the material being so different than vinyl. So I just bend back that transfer tape and it comes right off. So now I'm taking my scissors and I am cutting around the shape of the circle so that it will fit on the coaster better. Now I'm taking the Cricut heat resistant tape 
I do believe this step is very important because it will hold the infusible ink transfer sheet to the coaster and it won't move around when you put the Cricut Easy Press 2 on top. So I just kind of folded it over. I only used two pieces and that worked out great. So now I am cutting a small square out of that butcher paper that was provided in that little black bag. Here is a piece of cardstock. Make sure you put your coaster upside down so the infusible ink transfer sheet is facing down and then you put your little piece of butcher paper they give you and then the easy press on top and then I hit the little Cricut button and I just let that go. While that was heating I went and I started taking off all the rest of the backings and cutting them into shape and I made a little assembly line. Now I again used my tape, the heat transfer tape by Cricut, and I just folded it over and I got it ready to go. Make sure you put it upside down right on your cardstock and that will protect whatever like mat you have underneath it. And then you put your butcher paper, put your Cricut Easy Press 2 right on top and then hit the Cricut Go button again and I just kept going through all four of them just like this and then I was waiting for them to cool off this is like putting a ceramic dish into your oven at 400 degrees and then pulling it out so be very careful so when I finally revealed them I could not believe how cool these looked I just remember how when I first saw the pattern on that infusible ink transfer sheet it was just I don't know dry and not exciting but when I pulled them off they were so smooth and you know how like vinyl you can feel on something you can't feel anything it's just shiny and smooth and beautiful and then I started thinking about all the things I can make with these infusible ink transfer sheets because I loved it and you can put it on clothing and wash it so I want to use it for that but then I thought about making coasters for friends um, as gifts or housewarming gifts and put their initials on it. Look how cool that is. Oh my gosh, I love these. I really do love them. And, you know, I made coasters that were already on Cricut Design Space, but you can do anything. You could write anything on them. Look how cool these are. I love them. Now notice that little white splotch at the bottom. You got to be really careful. I think that the Cricut Easy Press 2 moved while it was on it, so it caused like a ghosting effect. So just be really careful with that. But again, I just love how these turned out. And these are done. So I hope you like them as much as I do. Let's take a look. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Okay, the final DIY greeting cards. So the first thing I did was I went in Cricut Design Space. I went into the already made project, the cards, and I typed in happy anniversary because it's my husband's and I anniversary coming up in a couple weeks. And I wanted to see what they already had. And I liked so many of their cards, but you can create any card custom, but I loved this one. And I'm just looking, it tells you what materials, how to assemble it. They give you so much information, it makes it foolproof. All right, so then I go right in and I make it. I'm using this really cool Cricut Joy card mat. I loved this card mat. It made it so simple and it really wasn't expensive. And then I got these Cricut Joy insert cards. And it just, this was so easy to do. And just think of all the designs you can make for friends and just personalize them. So I took my little card, put it as far up as it could go, and then fold the top over. Make sure you take off the film because I forgot to do that at first. And I was like, why isn't this sticking? And then I realized I had to take the film off and then stuck it over and then set my material. So I'm going to put here, insert card cardstock. But if you're not sure, you could go over here to browse all materials 
and I went to cardstock and I saw that was the best option for me. <laughs> and then I just made it, put it in and go. Here it goes. And it made it so easily and I love it. I love how easy everything is to make. But it's even cooler just to watch it make it. So once it was done, I took it off of the mat. Now, this was pretty easy because that cardstock, you can kind of see the material there. It is very thick and forgiving. So you can pull. I was so afraid at first to pull, but then I realized I can pull harder and it was fine. The, all that, those letters, everything will get stay there and I'll show you how to get that off in a second. I decided I wanted to go with the red insert. You just poke it through those four little corners and voila, done. Look how cute this is. This is the card my husband's getting. And he'll love it. <laughs> all right. Next, we are going to scrape off all of that leftover. And I just used my scraper for that. It was super simple. Now I'm going to look up a Father's Day card. My kids wanted to make one for him. And this one here is perfect because it's so cute father like no mother <laughs> and I'm going to make it so easy like these are already made but think of how the personalizations you could do and that's it and I set it to cut got my card mat ready I love that card mat so cool just stick it right inside. Oh, and you can even write on the inside of the card too. Just fold it back the other way, put your pen in and have it write whatever you want. Just put that whatever you want to say in the Cricut design space and it will write it for you. I'm going to handwrite it, but you can do that on here too. And then it just cut away. Look how cute this is. I love that one. That one's my favorite. And then I wanted to make a Father's Day card for my dad. Yesterday we had a cookout with him and I will show you one that I just made right after this. I didn't show the process of it, but this one's really cute too. And it has a very cool, like um, the material that the insert card is very like, I don't know, holographic. It's really cool. And then you just insert that and look how cool that is. First my father, forever my friend. My dad is so awesome. I'm so lucky to have him. And there you go. Look how cool these turned out. I hope you like them as much as I do. Let's take a look. It's what you do. And now we are at the final reveal, my favorite part of the video, because we get to recap all of the projects we just made using the Cricut Joy. It really was so much fun to use, and I love how I was able to personalize all of these DIYs. I will have all of the Cricut links in the description box below if you want to check it out. Also, tell me in the comments what type of custom DIYs you are making with your Cricut Joy or one of the other Cricut machines. I love to know what you guys are making. And thanks everyone, I will see you in my next video. So I just wanna take one more moment and thank Cricut again for sponsoring this video. It was so much fun using the products you sent me and I was very excited to show everyone what I made. Again, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. So Cricut has sponsored this video. Let's try that again. Cricut reached out to me and nah, I don't want that. It has sent me some really cool items and I feel so lucky to have nah, subscribe and and I was so excited. I just said that. I'm so excited. So that's it, that, uh, I want to take one more moment, uh, and letting me play around with everything, and uh, I don't know what to say. 
So that's it. That's the end of my. Blah.